to comply with. And then uh, the process begins of uh, the preparation of the check. But that goes through the city treasurer, the treasurer goes through the <coughs> city auditor, accountant, it goes to the accountant, and budget who, officer. And who is the final signatory? Sig uh, signatory before it goes to the treasurer for the cutting of the check. Dalawa po ang nakapirma sa check ng Manila, yung city treasurer and secretary to the mayor. Secretary to the mayor. So, ito pong check na po ito, uh, sino ho magdi-decide kung ang vendor ay basa Gidote Enterprises at ang itatype po sa check eh, Christina Corora in trust for Basa Gidote Enterprises. Yung po eh, city treasurer na po yun. Sila po ang final preparation. So, they are responsible yes. in case the funds are mislaid Covered or any check or mispaid, okay. di ba? Opo. Okay. okay. Normally po, pag na-prepare ho yung voucher, di ba ina-approve yan, pagkatapos tina-type out yung check. Gano'ng katagal ho ang, ang proseso niyan? Uh, one week? Two weeks? Uh, we try our best to be efficient on this dahil lahat yung mga nagninigosyo sa Maynila, uh, ayaw na ayaw ko pong nadidelay yung payment. Yes. What you try to do and what you actually achieve are two different things. Normally, what is the time frame? Couple of weeks? Couple. One month? Okay. Yan po ang processing time. Okay. Pag na-issue na yung cheque po, tinipe out na, how long does it usually take to for the, ven, uh, for the vendor, the payee, to pick up the check? Eh, alam nyo, usually, basta't natapos yung check eh, yung tatanggap ng check eh, mabilis pa po sa... Opo, pero sino po nagno-notify? Eh, sila po yung siyempre nagpa-follow up dun sa city treasurer's office kung so, meron na po nag silang check eh. Nag-i-standby dun? Normally, meron silang mga liaison officer that, uh, that keeps keeps close uh, observation of that the... That will sit aside, sit the around the place and wait for their check to be cut day after day. Ganun ho yun. Something like that. Okay. Uh, kasi na-notice ho namin that the check was dated June 5, 2001 and it was deposited on June 5, 2001. So, yung pinakita ko ito po sa mga kaibigan ko sa local government, sabi nila, you must have a VIP uh, collecting this check uh, for it to be cut, signed, signed by two people. Muna, tatlong, tatlong pong, there are three initials po dito, no? Signature verified, check, approved. So, tatlo yun. Pero mga initials lang po yun, pagkatapos dalawang signatures. Liberty Toledo City Treasurer at Emmanuel Season Secretary to the Mayor. Uh, that normally will not take one day as, uh, as you say. Ngunit, it was all signed, issued in one day, and deposited on that very same day. So, it just, I, it's not your fault. We're not blaming you, Mr. Mayor. But that is really efficiency of the first order. Yung pagkakash po ng check o pagdideposit po nun, siyempre, pagtanggap nila eh. Tama po yan, pero tinatalog ko lang kung gano'ng katagal ho, kumuha ng three initials at dalawang signature. That will usually not be finished in one day kasi nakatambak ho yan, di ba? I, I, I have seen this. I've worked in City Hall before. My brother has been in City Hall for several terms and you yourself. And when they bring uh, uh, around a batch of checks for you to sign, I know it's about 12 inches high. And that's at the time, ha? Tapos, tapos mo dyan, meron pa. So, tuwang-tuwa po ako na the efficiency of City Hall means that you can get three initials, approval, check, signature, city treasurer, secretary to the mayor, issue the check, have the guy sign the receipt, 
go to the bank and deposit it all on the same day, June 5, 2001. If there is, any, if there is anything uh, we would like to pride ourselves with, eh, talaga pong mabilis magbayad ng Maynila noon noong aming administrasyon. Thank Talagang you. sobrang bilis. Hindi po naiinip ang mga supplier at mga kontratista sapagkat maigpit na maigpit po ako dyan. Pagka lahat ay okay na... Hindi po ito diniliver pa sa Malacanang. Hindi po. <laughs> hindi po naman siguro. Uh, hindi. Al al uh, alam po ninyo, itong land bank pride sa Malacanang, nasa loob ng Malacanang ho yan, di ba? <laughs> eh, uulitin ko po na... Sa Mabini branch, uh, sa Mabini yung... hall yata sila noon, no? Okay. Yung insinuation na special treatment ang nakuha nitong uh, mag-asawa o pamilya o korporasyon, I will totally, flat, flatly deny that. Ako po'y kontrapartido nun eh. Ako po'y nanindigan kay Pangulong Erap. Hindi po ako sumama sa EDSA DOS. Ako po, katangi-tangi siguro na nasa Malacanang at the last moments of the Arab administration in defense of the Constitution because I believe that what was happening was illegal. Kaya masama po ang loob ko sa administrasyon nun. Hindi ko po sila dinatanggap. And it was a public knowledge that President Arroyo was worried about the city of Manila because the mayor was not in support of her administration. And many times they even tried me into their fold and I refused because I thought it was an illegal government until and when the Supreme Court rendered a decision doon ko lamang po tinanggap sila. Kaya kung meron pong special treatment or any any special attention na bibigay ko doon sa kumakatawan sa kinaiinis ang administrasyon eh, hindi po nangyari yun. In fact negative po ang dating sa akin ay eh, Ba't hindi mo pinadelay ito pag galit ka na? Eh, hindi po. Eh, iba po naman yung transaksyon. Yung transaksyon opisyal, eh, opisyal. Yung personal, eh, namatili po ako sa piling ni Pangulong Erat. Ngunit, sa panahon na yun, ano pong posisyon ni Justice Corona? Wasn't he chief of staff? of? Uh... At that time, no, he was not chief of staff. As he far was, as I, was my knowledge is concerned. He was chief of staff po. Of, uh, At that time? Malacanang. When I first got to know them, they were attorney and Mrs. Corona. And uh, at that point in time, I definitely was not following up on his role. But the negotiations for this started in January? No, it started in 1999. I see. So yes, he was uh, then outside of government and became chief of staff when Gloria Arroyo became president. Well, I want... Oh, he was the chief of staff of uh, Gloria Arroyo as vice president. Well, in any case, um, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. It's good to see you in good health. <laughs> For a good friend like the senator, the I'm always gentleman happy. gentleman from Makati and uh, before... Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I want to be educated for my edification. Supposing we grant, as the line of questioning of the prosecution indicated, that there was irregularity in this.